Everybody knows I'm the best damn YouTuber on this platform. And those who disagree, well, those are called haters. And today, we're gonna take a look at those haters and dissect them and trash them. Well, 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 look what we got here, a hater. Except this guy seems to be more of a fan than a hater because he decided to come back twice. Now I'll answer some of your questions, buddy. Your own mama knows about my rapping because I've been rapping to her in bed all the fucking time, little boy. Second of all, damn right I be smoking. I be smoking that hardcore meth all day. Crack too. It's none of your damn business why that fire alarm's disconnected. If I want to smoke my heroin, I'm gonna smoke my heroin, buddy. And who's gonna stop me, buddy, buddy? Looky here, we got another two-timer. Another big fan here, Rosa Pinko. I had to search up what Pinko means because I had never heard that terminology before. But all it means is that I'm a liberal according to this little sissy boy here. And would you look at that? Another Republican snowflake triggered by the one and only Cadester Master. You wanna sit there and call my content garbage, Tony? All right, well maybe, maybe you're some all glorious content creator. Maybe you got some good videos. Let's let's go take a look at what you be uploading, Tony. This video is unironically probably the best thing that ever happened to your channel. You got two subscribers, and at best, they'll probably be either both your parents or your old account. Your most viewed video is at 27 views, buddy. I don't want to hear nothing about no garbage content from you ever again. This is free promo for you. You're gonna get more views than you've ever gotten because I'm fucking putting you on the map right now, buddy. When you sit there and wonder why is my channel not going anywhere, consider the fact that it's because you're an outstanding douchebag. When you sit and wonder where could my life have gone differently, where did I mess up, I'll tell you where you messed up. It was commenting something negative on the Cade Monster, buddy. Only instead of being like you and being an inconsiderate asshole. I'ma do the opposite, and I'ma go and spread love, brother. And here you go, I'm spreading you some love. Even more love than this promotion for you has already been. Here's your love, brother. Unfortunately, while I can go out and spread love and peace, others like this gentleman here named Robert don't like that. He says my video is cringe. I'll show you cringe, Robert. Let's take a look at your playlist, buddy. Why you got some Funkadelic here? Why you got some bass? Why you got your little Fortnite playlist montage here? I'ma take it a bit easy, cause just based on these playlists and based on the fact that I see XXX and Tassion, I can tell this kid is no, no older than 12 years old. So I'ma take it light, 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 because no 12 year old will know what quality content is. Ever Roberts, I will tell you this right now. If you ever come for the Cade Master again, it's not gonna be as easy as it was right now. I'm just jealous of all the big wins we're getting, and I'm giving you the middle finger while I go on my Ferrari, and you walk away. Well, you listen here, buddy. I don't need no big winnings from no gambling, because I get big winnings just from living my life. I got a Lamborghini just from being born. That's how damn good I am at living life. I have a fucking spaceship outside of my house right now just because I was born. That's how much this universe values me. So you listen here, buddy. I don't need none of your pathetic big winnings. I don't need your pathetic Ferrari. And I am giving you the whole while you drive away in your Ferrari. I'm abusing my plushies. You think that's so, Brad? You think I'm abusing my pussies? Well, listen here, Brad. I'll fucking abuse you, all right? If you want to see what abuse is, I'll abuse you, Brad. You never, ever accuse me of doing such a heinous thing ever again, Brad. You understand me, boy. If you think you're actually good at rapping, that's hilarious. Please, never pick up a mic again. Well, I have some bad news for you, buddy. I know I'm great at rapping because I rap about that real shit. No one else has a gambler's anthem other than me. I'm the one that be rapping about the real stuff that you sissies are too afraid to hear. Because you can't recognize good talent doesn't mean I'm not touching a mic again. Because best believe I will be back talking about that real shit whether you like it or not, you little sissy boy. Fortunately, that is it for all of our little sissy boy haters. So for now, I'm gonna say I'll see you in the next one. But before I see you in the next one, 
I think it's time to show a bit of love and show myself some love. Oh my god, love and so much love, so much positivity, my god. Oh.